hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will be talking about how i have been unemployed literally jobless and pregnant while living in germany and so this topic will be more like <clears throat> just a brief explanation as to how i've been surviving um, while living here in germany and what are the perks of having or being pregnant or having a baby in germany so guys if you are interested in this video stick around i will be giving you a very um, detailed explanation and again we'll be talking today about the perks of being pregnant and living in germany as you all know i'm currently on my third trimester almost there and I just wanted to go over certain things that have been beneficial to me while living here in Germany and also to let you know about the good stuff so you could, you know, avail yourself to, especially if you're a woman and you find yourself living in Germany. So I will begin with the first steps, which is um, when you're pregnant in Germany, everything is free. What do I mean by everything? Your hospital visits, your delivery <laughs> i mean going to have the baby at the hospital is free um, your visits to the gynecologist which is um, one time every four weeks until your third trimester and then it's um, one time every two weeks after your third trimester that's also free um, so there are quite a lot of, of 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 perks here you know so where should i really start from okay so let's start from the when you are in the first trimester like i said your visit to the gynecologist is free where you're going to be having specific body checks <clears throat> and in this time it's very crucial because you're going to receive a paper called a muta pass it's called a mother's pass and this contains all details of you um, not just your details your expected date of delivery your weight, blood group, everything, yada, yada, yada. It's on this paper. Um, after the first 13 weeks, you are to go for this huge scan. I really don't know what, it, what they do in this scan, but this scan is just more, not like the normal scan you would have at your gynecologist. It's more a scan that can tell if your baby will have some certain defect if your baby has a certain risk of down syndrome and stuff and all this like i said it's absolutely free of charge guys can you beat that no <laughs> so moving on to the next stage um how about work let's talk about work so ever since i got pregnant um on the third month of the, or the fourth month there about i had to inform my company and as you know i'm not working full time because i'm still yet a student in germany i had to inform my employer about my situation and um, before i did inform my employer i first informed my doctor about the kind of job i was doing as a student which was not really um, a hectic job to be honest um but it was good enough to get by so i mean in this job you could get between 1000 euro to 1300 euro which was not so much but as a student it's easy to get by or just enough to live by <laughs> so on the fourth month i um, got a paper from my doctor which i shared with my my company and um, obviously the paper says that i'm pregnant and that um, should the job be too hard for me then they would place a ban on me working a ban so what does that mean exactly does that mean i i'm not allowed to work i mean myself i didn't i didn't really understand this whole thing i'm like okay so i have a ban so what next so my employer were supposed to give me option they were supposed to give me a less um a job that is less um what do i call it less 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 stressful let's put it that way so my employer is supposed to give me a job that is less stressful due to my pregnancy situation or otherwise they could not give me any job at all but yet they continue paying me and guys guess what 
I took the second option. I didn't really take the second option because I was really open, open to working, but my company could not find a suitable department for me to work that doesn't have that much stress, you know? I would have preferred sitting in some office and actually doing some calls or whatnot, but they didn't have that option either. So um, basically I stopped working on the fourth month and <clears throat> I got my salary fully paid and since then even until the ninth month which I'm currently am I still got paid so that is safe to say that even as a pregnant woman you can stop working and still get paid especially when your job is very is stressful or it's it, it assumed to be stressful on your pregnancy as well as on you so that is one very helpful perk i really did not know about this but i'm I, i'm very grateful that i was able to navigate through it to really understand what it's all about because when i actually got the paper from the doctor i was a bit scared i said okay this is a ban does that mean i don't have to work does that mean i don't get money i mean what am i gonna do i'm just gonna sit at home all day i'm gonna be bored um but i'm happy that this came and this 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 money it's not a lot but it has really seen me through because i mean you know <laughs> so that's by the way <clears throat> the other good thing i would mention here is maternity protection so what does that mean um during the the last six weeks before your delivery and during the eight weeks after the delivery of a baby you are fully insured and you are under the maternity protection so what it means is that your company even if you had you have stopped working they are still mandated to pay you um the insurance that you know the insurance that you're covered on is mandated to pay you 13 euros every day so which means for six weeks, they, you get paid 13 euros every day, and that's amount to about 500 and something euros, so about 600 euros there about. And then eight weeks after the delivery of your baby as well, you would be paid by the insurance. Don't get it wrong, this is the insurance. The other one I was talking about was my employer. So the employer gets to pay me, and now for the six weeks before delivery and eight weeks after delivery, my insurance gets to pay me 13 euro every day that is also inclusive from the money i get from my company right so i hope you guys understand that so, so these are the perks and then what else giving birth to the hospital is free most of the stuff you would need um like a new mom you really do not need a lot of stuff because for instance, um, your gynecology can um, refer you to specific, you know, organizations that could help you with specific things if you are a bit lost on, you know, you're a new mother, you need information. So I went to this organization, I let them understand that I'm a new mother and I really do not have so much ideas about things. And this organization gave me so much information about, you know, when my baby arrives, what I have to do. <clears throat> um what um benefits social benefits i have to apply for because of course my baby is definitely german um also information on parental um benefits so just after the after the kid is born you also get what we call parental benefits um you would also get child benefits so we call that kindergeld so this all these benefits are coming just after you give birth but you really have to be informed about them because if you don't know about them you're just going to miss out on the box <laughs> so guys this organization there are quite a lot of them we have um uh we have caritas the one i went to was called emmanuel um uh, emmanuel beratum so it's more like an advice consultation so as long as you're pregnant and you just need advice with regards to pregnancy going forward being a new mother just go to them they are really nice they would talk to you they will explain to you um so we have organizations like this and like i said the good thing is most of these organization they are there to help women 
especially young women you know to navigate early motherhood so I got quite a lot of baby stuffs from this organization I was so happy because honestly I didn't even know what to buy I didn't even know where to start from like I'm um, not on my own but of course I don't have like you know I don't have family here so I know I'm having a baby I have to look on the internet and also I failed to mention you get a free midwife to look at to look up to look up <laughs> no <laughs> to look at your child after it's born so the work of the midwife basically is um, coming to visit you when you have the baby helping you with breastfeeding helping you with showering the baby helping you with um, tell, uh, teaching you how the baby is supposed to be positioned for sleeping for breastfeeding you know all the all the normal stuff that you would expect you know your mother to teach you but the midwife would only visit you for less than an hour every day after you give birth and believe me guys this is also covered by the insurance yes <laughs> so um yeah it's not all gloomy like i said um being unemployed currently but i'm also enjoying the perks of living here and i'm so grateful for this opportunity and like i said um, this social um, organization would always help you so if you find yourself living here you find or you have friends who need information please get in touch with me I'm gonna link um, all these organizations to you where you can just go and meet them and they would always you know advise you on how to navigate new motherhood you know while living here in Germany because they know that there's quite a lot of people that are not Germans here and most people need help most people don't understand German fully they don't know how it works you know so guys this is how it has been for me and I'm so grateful because honestly as long as this part of finance is covered it gives me a rest of mind like I'm concentrated on just learning German on you know finishing up my study which I have actually been very fully engaged in and um, I used all this opportunity and time away from work, you know, to focus on myself and, you know, expecting my baby. And I'm so grateful, you know, for this opportunity. So, guys, if you have any question with regards to getting pregnant <laughs> um, and you need any information, feel free to reach out to me again. My Instagram page is MissRuby221 and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Till next time. Love you and leave you. Bye. Mwah.